What's up Thrashers, and welcome back to the Thrash Maniac 99 YouTube channel, and I am back for another album review, and I'm finally talking about the album that got the most votes at the end of February for which album that came out in February that you guys wanted me to talk about, and that album I'm going to be talking about for today is none other than the latest release from uh, Portugal's best metal band, Moonspell, and our new album, Hermitage. Now, full disclosure, I was never, I, well, I shouldn't say I was never, I never got into Moonspell. Then again, I haven't been really that much well-versed into the gothic metal world in general. Until recent years from doing Horseman podcasts, I would check out a band here and there from time to time see what I thought. The most recent example being Tribulation. That new album was fantastic, and that's a gothic album right there. But I guess a little history lesson for you guys uh, who have never heard about this band. Moonspell is a metal band that formed back in the early 90s, 92. Actually, well, they started in 89 under the name Morbid God, changed the name to Moonspell in 92. They're from uh, Lisbon, Portugal. And they started out as more of a straight-up black metal band. And their first album, Wolfheart, which many regard as like the best Portuguese uh, Portugal, not Brazil, black metal album of all time, and I believe that. And then as the years have gone on, they have evolved well beyond black metal and become one of the forerunners of the gothic metal movement in Europe. Recent years, they kind of, from what I have heard, have kind of blended it with a little bit of that Gothenburg melodic death metal flair in terms of the guitars. And here we are at their new album, Hermitage. So. While I made the case about Wolfheart being like one of those albums accord to most people, this is the first Moonspell album I have ever listened to from top to bottom. So, first impressions essentially is what this review is, is a first impressions of the new Moonspell album. So we kick things off with one of my favorite songs of the album, The Greater Good. Uh, musically very somber sounding, very uh, eerie. Uh, depressing at times and when you read the lyrics it's basically like the philosophical question about like what is a good person what are good things in life and would you be willing to sacrifice yourself for the greater good of the world a lot of questions that we kind of need answered in today's world because of stupid crap going on in the world as we know it um, but yeah, I thought lyrically that kind of really hit at home for me because I'm always a guy that's always about one, what's best for the whole world, not what's best for a small segment of people like, you know, my problems with SJWs. I feel like they need to quit trying to enforce their beliefs down people's throats. And to me, a song like The Greater Good is kind of, kind of like one of those songs that should be played to everybody and like people should read into the lyrics and understand we are all human beings. The sooner we can stop the hatred and the sooner we can stop enforcing people's beliefs down people's throats, the better the planet will be. I think that this song is a great representation of those questions. Uh, Common Prayers, kind of a lesser song on the album in my mind. Then again, the first half for the most part, it was kind of hit or miss. Uh, one of the, my favorite songs coming up afterwards, uh, All or Nothing, which is one of the longer songs of the album, which uh, you notice something. The longer tracks tend to be the better songs of the album. The shorter tracks, it's hit or miss, depending on which one you prefer. But All or Nothing... Again, another one of those philosophical songs all about, like, well, you do all this stuff and then you get nothing out of it. More philosophical questions that gets your mind going, that gets you to think about things a lot on a much deeper level. Uh, the title track, Hermitage, is another solid tune from the album all about what the song says, Hermitage. Uh, Entitlement, another long song, and to conclude the first half, was another long one at a little over six minutes. And again, now musically speaking, this one, another one of those somber songs. And you know what, this is kind of like a good, like, compare and contrast to the 
Tribulation album, whereas the Tribulation album was very heavy, very scary, very dark gothic metal. Whereas already with Hermitage, it's a lot more on that more melodic, more somber side of gothic metal. Uh, Solitarian, again, another one of those songs uh, that I really enjoy. Uh, the Herman Saints, the seventh track of the album, all about royalty, kingdoms, the Herman Saints. Herman. Hermit Saints. Why did I say Herman? I'm thinking of Herman Rarebell from the Scorpions. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to butcher this next song title. Apophagmata? Apophagmata? That's the best I'm going to say it. Uh, one of the heavier songs of the album, which I really, really liked, a nice little change in pace compared to the majority of the album, where it's very melodic, very somber, very depressive sounding. But the penultimate song, Without Rule, uh, probably the best song on the album, in my opinion, talking more philosophical questions of like, and this song... Uh, well, actually, let me go back, because there was one particular song, actually, that I completely forgot um, to speak about uh, earlier in the uh, questions. Or not in the questions. I, I'm, I'm rambling at this point, but uh, Without Rule is another one of those philosophical uh, songs that get your mind going. And this song could have fit perfectly in line on that recent Tribulation album. It kind of had that that spirit a little bit, a little bit of that heavy grittiness to it, which I really, really appreciate. And again, the questions about, like, why do we need to have all these people telling us how to live our lives? We don't want to live our lives by their rules, we want to live our lives without rules. Meaning, inside your soul, so to speak. And then you conclude with, um, and actually I forgot, Solitarian, let me go back a little bit. So Solitarian was actually an instrumental song of the album, and it was very, very well crafted. It was very psychedelic, kind of jazzy at times. So it kind of has almost like that like easy, relaxing feel to it, which is a nice uh, like little break to kind of transition from the first half to what you would get in the second half of the album. And then we end the album with City Quitter, which was another instrumental at about three minutes. Not quite as strong as Solitarian, but kind of to wrap things up in a nice little bow to conclude this album. So overall, for my first experience listening to Moonspell, it was a solid album. I feel like if I go back to their earlier discography, I think I would like those a whole lot more than this. But for my first uh, listen to Moonspell with this album. It was a decent album. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Definitely right now the weakest of the albums I've reviewed so far. But who knows, maybe with more subsequent listens it might go up a little bit in score when we get to the album of the year list for the Horseman Podcast at the end of the year. But for now it sits as 8 out of 10. What did you guys think of Hermitage by Moonspell? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, horns high and I will see you soon. What the heck is fellatio? Cole, out of all the people in here, you should know what that is. Every time I'm stopping, I try to have a shot. Is it a new way to torture me? It's a little too friendly. No. Well, it depends on how you look at it. Okay, I'm looking at it. Oh! Oh, boy. Are you looking at the whole thing or just the fellatio part? Oh, wait. So, fellatio is stimulation of the penis? Really? Thanks yeah. for letting me do that. I might pick that part now. Call, call. It's another name for a blowjob. Okay, okay. Every time I pick a deep, it was a it's a deep for a blowjob. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Sounds like Carson's getting one right now. <laughs> God damn.